Here we have a 38 foot bay liner, it's a 1985, in really, really, really good condition. It's the front, you can see the canvas on top. A lot of little tricks on this boat. Here's the side, the port side. Lazy day in the marina. Here's the starboard side. Starboard side. There's the uh, shore cord mechanism. Uh, it's a cute little way to uh, keep your shore cord under control. There's a vent for the master stateroom head. Come back here. Here's the cockpit, fully carpeted in excellent condition. And we'll go on board. Okay. You can see the uh, combing here. It's uh, in really good shape, as is the teak. Yeah. Go back around this way. Uh, transom door right here. There you go. Makes it nice to step out on the platform. If you're sterned in, you just walk off the boat or you walk onto a dinghy. Makes it nice. Okay. Can't, is the uh, Isinglass is excellent. Really good shape. All of this stuff. Very good here. Coming around, nice big, big space back here. Um, reinforced hardtop. There's the reinforcement bar. Uh, we had that put on just about the second day we owned the boat. So you can see the reinforcement rib there. Okay, we're going inside now. You can take a look this way. All right, step up into the port. You can see the uh, settee, the upholstery is in good shape. Every, uh, I don't think it's five years old. Go around like this. Nice big windows, makes it nice to cruise. This uh, table is a high-low table. There's another insert on the left of the table that you put in. Lower it all the way down, and it makes another bed uh, for the grandkids, maybe. You can see. Looking forward a little more. Here we are over at the uh, lower helm station. Switches, switches, instruments, throttle, transmissions. Right here is a Magnum 3000 watt inverter combination smart charger remote control. And that's a dandy. Below that is the anchor control right there. And over here, autopilot. Uh, I don't know how this happened, but I have a matching Helms chair. It's a nice one. It's blue. Um, wet bar, storage below, uh, outlet for uh, marine air, reverse cycle air, heat, uh, wet uh, ice maker. This is a nice one. It works real well. It's not that old either. It's a couple of years. All right. There's that. And now we'll look at the carpet. It's a uh, an off-white little pattern in it. You have to see it, but uh, it's in excellent condition. We'll come forward. And here is our companionway and galley floor going forward to the master stateroom, Teak and Holly. You can see that it's uh, in really good shape. 
stove, three burner electric, and uh, maybe you can see, yes, I put new plates underneath the burners. <laughs> okay, so microwave works. It's nice and big. There's a instruction manual in case you need that. Storage, window, workspace, double sink, stainless, storage, drawers. This is another outlet into the galley for the uh, air conditioning in the summertime. If somebody really appreciates that, our Admiral does. And then uh, this is the refrigerator. It's a little dark, but uh, maybe you can see it kind of lighting up. It's the it's a refrigerator. It works well. Okay, we're coming around and around, 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 around. Could have gone the other way. Here's the uh, guest stateroom. Somebody open the door. Guest stateroom, hanging locker, nice carpet, in good shape. There's storage underneath that the shelf right there. Show you that. There we go. Up and it's a great big old hole down there. There we go, lots of storage. Mm -hmm. And here, believe it or not, we have a king size bed. Now, it's a little bit of it, it goes under, that's where your feet go. There's the insert for the table upstairs. All right, I have cushions too that go on top. Uh, hanging locker. Uh, yeah. This is uh, the uh, main head. You can access it from this uh, guest stateroom. Uh, this, here's the sink going in here. Storage under here, back there, and storage under. Let's see. Open up. There, the storage there. This is an electro sand. Sanitation device, really nice. Also, soft close seat tops. Oh, you didn't see it too well. See, there it goes. They're soft close. They don't crash in the night. Bathtub. If some of you didn't know, these 38s all have bathtubs with a shower above. So, whatever you do, and you can access this area from the the main head or the owner's lounge or owner's stateroom, which is there. We're going to go back out this way. This is the door in the companion way to the head. I never made a video before, but here we go. This is a queen size bed here, some shelf. There's storage there, storage under. So here's the access to the uh, tub shower from the uh, VIP stateroom. This just closes off. It's a little, here, there you go. Let's see it that way. Nice. And go around. There's a little, some portholes, hatch. And over here, we have a hanging locker. This is on the starboard side. There you go. Oops. Yeah, there it is. And then the side opens up too. So, a little storage shelf on top. Here's the uh, VIP head. It's just a, a head in a, in a vanity, sink, storage. There we go. Also, same electrosand system. Really nice. This is civilized. Okay, now you've seen all that. We're going to show you the engine compartment and then we'll go upstairs and you can see that surprise. So we'll go back out. Very nice in here. This We've had this boat for a long time and we've made it just 
Very, very sophisticated. Okay, now here is rear perco switches. Uh, these are Mitsubishi engines, they're diesel. And that white one is the gener you know, the generator, genset. There's the other diesel over there. They're Japanese made tractor motors, <laughs> but they all work really well. Now down here, oh, you can see that machine right there is the 3000 watt inverter smart charger. And there's a bundle of wires that belong to it. And this little gizmo allows it to charge two banks at the same time. Under that gray box are six six volt AGM batteries. So there, there's no service required. I just look at them a couple times a year. And this thing down here takes care of it. And that instrument I showed you inside tells me what's going on. Uh, that's the engine compartment. Okay. The Raycord filters are down over there. There's one of them. The other one's to this left of it. Anyway, they work real well. Now I'll go upstairs. Here's the. I'll close this thing, otherwise, I'll close itself. Okay. Stairs. Going up. Uh, here we are. More carpet. This whole flybridge is carpeted. There we go. All right. I'm stepping back a little bit over the hard top. So you can see, here's the, the upholstery is a couple of years old. So it's in really good shape. You can see it. Uh, we have two Helms chairs. This is Helms chair. Technically, this is a navigator chair. <laughs> we moved the settee back when we put the hard top on. And the back means right there. And there's some more carpet. You can see. Nice thing about the slope on this uh, Isinglass is that you can see behind you. A lot of people have it squared off and it's just canvas back there and they can't really see if anybody's overtaking them. But, but you, you got a great visibility up here. Radar. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. A few items. Really nice. It's fun up here. Here's the dash. There's a radio that works. Cup holders. Instruments. Lean back. Okay, so my head is just touching the forward eyes and glass. So you can just see how expansive. This is really nice up here. And you can see there's a little bit of room between the navigator chair and the first chair here. All right. If uh, you're looking for a boat like this, this might be the one you'd want to buy. It's turnkey, trouble free, just waiting for somebody to take it out. You can try notifying Dave5491 at gmail.com. Again, that's Dave5491 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.